Hey everyone, I've got a recipe for you today. It's a Kyanie Chamberlain with the Living Connection and winter is upon us. We finally had our first real snow here in the New York City area and who doesn't like a cup of hot cocoa? But of course, weight creep, it is the holidays. Uh, we want to try and avoid unnecessary weight gain. But as you know, I'm not about deprivation. I'm about satisfying the senses, but doing that in a way that's not only nutritious, but delicious. So today I'm going to share with you a quick recipe from one of my favorite bloggers in the whole world. Her name is Diana Yin, and this is a recipe that I came across a couple of years ago, and it's my annual tradition to share it with you because weight creep and weight gain is always an issue at this time of year. So uh, what you're going to need, of course, is some liquid. Uh, that's your choice, which you want to use. You could use soy milk, you could use almond milk, you could use rice milk, or you could just use plain water, or you could cut um, milk in half with water. So this is the milk that I like to use. This is from Ronnie Brook Farm, which is a local uh, dairy producer in the Hudson Valley. Uh, and you'll notice it's in a glass bottle, so it's recyclable. Put a little deposit down, get it back, it's great. I use that. You use what you like. The other thing that you also want to use, of course, is cocoa powder. So I found that I can get some great cocoa powder at Trader Joe's. Uh, there's lots of organic cocoa powders, raw cocoa powders that are available out there today. Um, of course, you know cocoa in its dark form, in its pure form. It's very rich in antioxidants, which is great. So that helps protect our cells from degeneration um, and gives us a boost. It's also going to give your hot cocoa more of a chocolatey taste. Um, the other thing that you're going to need is just a little bit of sugar. Um, you can use, Diana uh, suggested using four teaspoons of sugar, of cane sugar. Now there are a lot of um, you know, organic cane sugars out on the market today. Uh, Damara sugar, brown sugar, uh, you could use stevia, you could use agave. Um, so the recipe quite simply is uh, three cups of liquid, again water, milk, you know, your choice, a combination thereof or another substitute, um, and you want to use two to three teaspoons of your cocoa powder. Um, you want to use four teaspoons of some kind of a sugar product. Um, and of course, what makes this recipe really, really work and make it nutritious and delicious is the Dutch chocolate Nutrimeal from Isana. This stuff, is, this stuff is really fantastic. It's great. And it's great because you are going to get a full spectrum of nutrients along with it. Um, it is made of a combination of soy protein, non-GMO of course, and whey, casein, non-GMO. But the other uh, ingredients that are in it that your body needs, which are going to help um, keep that craving down, keep things in check where you can enjoy this without going crazy. Uh, I'm just going to read off, rattle off the list of some of the things that are in here. Um, vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, vitamin D, vitamin E, thiamine, folate, phosphorus, magnesium, uh, B6, B12, iodine, zinc, uh, molybdenum, and also copper, a non-toxic form of copper. I've had some questions about that, but this is a bioavailable non-toxic form. Uh, um, also, it's going to provide you uh, it's going to provide you 15 uh, grams of protein, so that's wonderful, and all these full-spectrum supplements. So that's really it in a nutshell. Stay warm, stay healthy, don't deprive yourself, get the deliciousness, and just make healthy adjustments. See you next time. I'm going to go back to my hot chocolate now. Mmm.